All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. I'm Brother Kashakwala. I'm with Brother Shamak. First and foremost, we want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, in today's lesson, we want to get into um, <clears throat> rolling with the punches. All right, meaning take what comes to you, take what the Lord gives you. On a plate <laughs> Just yeah. go with it man Don't Like uh What is that In Acts the ninth chapter When Yahweh Shai came to um, I want to say Acts the ninth chapter When Yahweh Shai came to Paul And says Why, why thou kickest against the pricks mm -hmm. Meaning Stop being unorthodox And be orthodox mm -hmm. To the, the The schedule And the um, mm -hmm. And the plan And the um, What I want to try The curriculum That the Lord has set right. For us to follow like stop kicking against the pricks, just let it happen. Right. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into Second Timothy chapter two and three. <clears throat> and then we're gonna flow into our next scriptures that we have lined up. <clears throat> now Lord willing this lesson is edifying. So you got it, bro. This is uh Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's right. So let's get that word endure in the Greek. <clears throat> Salaki. All right. In the Greek is um uh kakopat kakopathio. All right. Let's see what Esau says. Strong's G twenty five fifty three. Kakopathio. Kakopathio. Close enough. It says to suffer or endure evils, hardships, and mm -hmm. troubles, to be afflicted. All right. Now that word suffer is in there. When you go and look up the word patient or yeah. patience, the word. the word suffer is in there as well. When you look up the word passion, the word suffer and pain is in there. And we are to have the patience, yep. all right, <clears throat> and stick stick through whatever we have to go through. Exactly. It says to undergo hardship, meaning what? You got to suffer, you mm -hmm. know? What did, what did you, how should I tell, um, uh, I went blank But pretty much Suffering something Is what <clears throat> Certain things You have to go through And you have to just You know Work Work through it And roll with the punches man You yeah. just wanna say something Yeah kinda of like The brother's going to The word patience Is going to be Meaning uh, long suffering Because we don't know How long we're gonna be At this state We don't know how long We're gonna be in this condition You know Ain't no man know The hour and time Okay so he got The, the road can seem forever we just got to endure regardless. You know, we have to wait upon ye, wait ye upon the Lord. You know, that's our that's our occupation. That's our job to do right now. That's right. And call all you, how about shimmy out shy that scripture that I was thinking of just popped up. <laughs> you know, um, it's in Matthew, the third chapter. No. Yeah, Matthew, the third chapter was with John the Baptist. But mm. the <clears throat> when you how shy came up to him. So it says, uh, Matthew chapter 3 and 13, Then cometh Yahweh Shai from Galilee to Jordan unto, unto John, which was the river. Okay? It says, To be baptized of him. It says, But John forbade him, saying, I have, no, I have need to be baptized of thee. Like, man, I'm not the one who should be baptized. You need to baptize me. Right. It says, And comest thou to me? That was just yeah. showing John. John was showing his humility. Right. You know, and just, you know, Showing his uh, subjugation to the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so it says, verse 15, and Yahweh Shai answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. He told John to suffer. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to get that word in a second. It says, For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness, then he suffered him. All right. So we're going to get that word suffer in the Greek. And this, the word suffer in the Greek is uh, af, uh, af, afiemo, afiemi, and it means um, <clears throat> to send away, to bid, go go away or depart. It says a husband and divorcing wife, just keep going, to send forth, yield up, to expire. That's a good one. It says to yield up. Mm -hmm. All right. Meaning what, man? Just, I, it's not like you're giving up, but you're just, right. you got it. You see what I'm saying? Right. It says to let go, let alone, let be. The Lord is telling him, look, man, I came here for you to baptize me, so let it be like that. 
and, and John let it be. He suffered it. Mm-hmm. All right. It says to leave, to discuss now. It says to admit or neglect. It says to let go, give up a debt, forgive, to remit. It says, um, it says, uh, keep no longer. It says, um, to depart from anyone. It says, leave, go away from, not to hinder. All right. Not to hinder. See? Not to hinder. Or what? Not to, um, Oh, that's a good one. It says to permit. So meaning allow it to happen. Yeah, exactly. Yo. If the Lord is putting you something through something, mm-hmm. allow it to happen. If it's something mm-hmm. that's like, you know, hard, you know, like yeah. fuck. Yeah. About to lose a job or yeah. just going through some shit. You is know, it, it may it may mm-hmm. seem it may seem above yeah. your measure, you know. That's but, right. You know, you can go through it, you can deal with it. Mm-hmm. We might just get that real quick. Yeah, the first Corinthians, yeah. I got it right here for you. Oh, okay, I'll come. let you break it down. I'm going okay, to read come. it. So First Corinthians 10 and 13, it says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. Right, so yeah, this it's common to man. <laughs> it, it, everybody's going to have to deal with something. You know, it's common to man. You got it. That's right, it says, But the Most High is faithful. Right, he, these word, his words are true. He's not going to have, he's not going to put you through something and destroy you or destroy your spirit. You know, he got you. If you believe you you his servant, you know, it all comes down to your faith. That's right. Mm-hmm. It says, <clears throat> he's, yeah, exactly. You said who believes that he's his servant. And right. me and his brother was going through uh, the book of Nahum. Mm-hmm. And we had ran uh, across this this uh, specific verse that kind of stuck. Um, I'm going to read it for oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? You know, verse 7. Yeah, verse 7. Come. It says, and the Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth. This yeah. is the one of the. This is the, yeah. the, the. A stronghold in the day of trouble is the point when we were reading, um, where it says, mm-hmm. "But the Most High is faithful." Right. All right, and it says, "And he knoweth them that trust in him." Like the brother right. says, the Lord knows, man. Yeah, he's not one to. What's that in Hebrews? Uh, your labor of love. Right. Yeah, he's not gonna forget your labor of love, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It says, but the Most High is faithful, so he he knows the promises he made. Yep. Mm-hmm. He knows, like it says right here, he knows who trusts in him. So, continuing, I'm going to let the brother take mm-hmm. it. Who will, su- who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right, so yeah, he's not going to destroy <laughs> your spirit. Whatever he give you to endure, you know, you can, you're able to go through it. You know, in this, and you read in this scripture, when you read this scripture, like, okay, I, I can go through it. You know, when you come across this scripture, you know, that's why it's blessed he that read them. Because these accounts come to your head when you go through those situations. Mm-hmm. That's why wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Who can be like, okay, I remember that account. I'm, and that's where you're going to apply it. Man. You know, and it takes faith to apply it, of course. That's right. You know, that's right. It says, okay. but, but with, <clears throat> Salakia, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. God. Yeah, see, uh, the Lord said he'll lift up a standard mm-hmm. in the book of Isaiah. Yep. And that when you go into that word standard, it means to disappear mm. or to escape. All right? Yep. So it says he'll make a way for you to escape right here. But like the brother uh, Shemak was saying, you got to have the faith. Yep. And he has to, you have to be that individual that the Lord knows mm-hmm. that you trust in him. You see? Right. So I'll reread it and give it to you. It says, but... Huh. Will with the temptation also make a way to escape? Right, because those these those plagues and those uh these times of trouble are gonna be temptation, man. It's gonna have you. It's gonna have you at that state that you ain't never been before. You know, questioning. You know, demons hopping on you, questioning if the Lord is dealing with you. You know, those that's, that's gonna be that temptation, especially in the hour of temptation with Mark of the Beast. Everything is coming against you all at once. You know, but hey, you shall escape these things, man. Those those things being those destructive times, the times of trouble. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you got and we gotta have confidence. We gotta trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah had that batak. Okay. Con. <laughs> safeties. Yeah, safeties, man. That name is a strong, it's a strong mm-hmm. tower, man. That's right. You know, and who and like as it's spoken about Sarat chapter two, verse ten, you know, he's gonna he's not gonna leave you confounded. Who's yep. been confounded? Um that's a true servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know? That's right. It says that ye may be able to bear it. Right, man. You could deal with it, man. Roll with the punches, man. Roll with the punches, man. <laughs> Hey, what's yeah. that? Uh, if you could find that in Malachi, bear bear the indignation. Okay. I think either be it's. I know it's not Malachi. It may be Malachi. Maybe Michael. Yeah. 
think it's Micah. I want to say it's Micah. Con, it's Mike, it might be Micah 7 and 10. No, it's not Micah 7 and 10. It's mm. not. Yeah. Because the scriptures tell you to bear the, in, the indignation yep, yep, of the Lord. Yeah, yep. It's a good you precept. Know? Yeah, you can find that. Hmm. Yep, Micah, Micah chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, see, Yahweh. See, I will bear the indignation of yep. the Lord, Yahweh, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says that ye, in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, it says that ye may be able to bear it. Right. If you bear the indignations, baby, you rolling with the punches, man. Right. Whatever is mm -hmm. coming to you, Come. you're going to take it cheerfully. We're going to get that in Ecclesiasticus. Go mm -hmm. ahead, brother. Because I have sinned against him. Ooh, because I have sinned against him. Get, um, uh, what's that? Limitations chapter 3. Come. Hold that and get Limitations chapter 3 and like 43. I'm going to pull it up on the screen. <clears throat> because it says I have sinned against him. That's why I have to bear these indignations and these punishments and these, yep. these, these corrections that the Lord is is putting me through. Right. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. This is, and that's why these plagues, mm -hmm. like if I may Go say, ahead. these scourges in the those because that amendment you mentioned the word amendment, right? No. Nah, nah, oh, you nah. mean correct, 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 yeah. correct goes with amendment. That's mm -hmm. why these plagues have to come upon our people mm -hmm. to correct our ass, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's why we gotta go. That's why he chastises us to put us at a low, a lower state, man. To, to acknowledge him even more, to glorify Yahweh by Shem Yahshai even more, you know. That's right. Beautiful, beautifully put, man. Go ahead. Bro. It is uh, Lamentation chapter three, verse forty-three. Mm -hmm. Thou hast covered with anger mm -hmm. and persecuted us. Mm -hmm. Thou hast slain. Thou hast not pitied. <laughs> thou hast slain and thou hast not pitied because what? Keep going. Verse forty-four. Thou hast oh, so covered. Read verse uh, forty-two. Forty-two. Con, yeah, con. It says, We have transgressed and have rebelled. Mm -hmm. Thou has not pardon, pardoned. Uh, pardoned. See, pardoned. Meaning, like, excused us. Mm -hmm. That's why when we read, um, what do we read? Well, shoot, we're reading in Nahum, the first chapter, con. it says, He will not acquit the evil or the wicked, mm -hmm. meaning He won't pardon them. Well. All right? So, because we went off what He told us to do, yeah. He ain't going to pardon us either. Mm hmm. All right, tit for tat, baby. Yep. So now you're gonna have to roll with these punches that I send you. Mm -hmm. But hey, these punches ain't gonna be too. Ooh, they gonna hurt that kidney shot yep. that the Lord give you. Ooh, mm -hmm. you know you send who that stings. Yeah. yeah. But you're still good. Yep. It ain't like he took you out. You can still bear it. Mm -hmm. You like I said, you may have lost a job, but you got another one. Exactly. Because the Lord was faithful still unto you, but He had to show you uh, because you wanna you wanna act like a like a nigga real quick, man. Let me yeah. let me bust your ass real quick. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to roll with these punches. Uh keep going, bro. Well, wait, lamentations. But you got a precept? No, no, you wanna still want the lamentations? Yeah, I'm just gonna finish it through. Huh. Yeah, I done lost I lost it. Ah, you can read it right here, bro. So I Okay. Read I got it, I got it, bro. Okay, come on. Three uh verse forty three. Yeah. Thou hast covered with anger and persecuted us, mm -hmm. thou hast slain, thou hast not pitied. Mm-hmm. Meaning, like, bro, I don't care. You know, uh, I don't feel uh, sorry for you. Word. Go ahead. Thou hast covered thyself with a cloud mm -hmm. that our prayer should not pass through. That's heavy, man. That's where you get Jeremiah. See, Jeremiah wrote this. That's where you get Jeremiah 15 mm -hmm. and 1 where it says, I cast him out of my sight. Even though I gave him Samuel Moses, yeah. I cannot be with these people, man. Mm -hmm. Cast him out of my sight. Go ahead. Thou has made us as the obscuring mm -hmm. and re refuse in the midst of the people. That's right. And, and refuse in the midst of the people, man. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Mm -hmm. You know? So we can go back to... Um, where were we? We go we back in, to... Uh, uh, we was in... We was in First Corinthians chapter 10 and Micah. You want Mike? You still want Micah? Yeah, finish that Micah indignation. Uh, we can uh, drop Second Timothy 2 and 3 because we get the point of that. Uh, because right. we have to endure these hard things that are to come our way. Mm -hmm. But we got uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, <clears throat> what's that? 1 Corinthians 10. 10 13. Come. 10 I think 13. we finished that too. Yeah, we finished this. It's all good with that. Come. Learn how to suffer. Right. Um, I got the Michael 7 and 9, though. You want? 
Yeah, go ahead, brother. Micah chapter 7, verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him mm -hmm. until he plead until he plead my cause mm -hmm. and execute judgment for me. See? So we understand that we have sinned against him according to Lamentations, the third chapter, mm -hmm. verse 42. And it says, until he plead my cause. What pleaded the cause? Yahweh Shai did. When he came, he was the intercessor for us to plead the cause between us and the Lord. Mm -hmm. He was that 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 glue mm -hmm. that stuck everything together. Right. All right. When you read Jude, it says even hating the spotting gar the spotted garments pulling you out the fire. And then when you read verse twenty one, I think it says to keep yourself in the love of the Most High, looking for the uh, eternal life, man. But it says Yahweh Shai in that same verse, man. Yeah. That's the one who's going to plead our. That's the individual who's going to plead our cause to the Lord. And it says an execute judgment for me. So until the the, the, the plead is fully done, mm -hmm. all right, the cause is weighed out to the Lord, and the judgment is made, then the the indignation that we have to bear will 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 um will be done will be done. Mm -hmm. We'll be in the kingdom. We'll be done. We don't have to bear anything. But that indignation that we had to bear was in nothing that we couldn't. Right. All right. There was there's a reason why Michael was saying this. Mm -hmm. He had to bear it because he knew what he did, but he knew he could go through it. You see, yep. it would be hard. It's hard, man. Babylon be hard as hell sometimes. Mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble is gonna be even harder, and that's understatement. How I'm saying it, I'm right. saying that light, light <laughs> as hell. You know what I'm saying? They none like it. They none like it. You see. But that's that day of judgment But we're going to have to bear through that In order to get to the other side Keep going He will bring me forth to the light See, he will bring me forth to the light If what? You bear that indignation mm -hmm. And be as a hard soldier yep. Enduring that hardness right. Hard enduring meaning making hard You see? Bearing that indignation He'll bring you to the light mm -hmm. In this case, yeah, he'll bring you to the kingdom like they say, the grass is always greener on the other side. Yep, you dang exactly. right. Except on the other side, it's it's gold, yep. transparent gold, because it's so pure. Like we read yep. in the Book of Revelation, all these different stones it ain't just green grass, man. Mm -hmm. It's everything we could ever imagine. Different planets and all that. That's what's on the other side. If we yep. bear this indignation, keep going, right. my brother. And I, con, and I, sh and shall behold his righteousness. And I shall behold his righteousness. Even mm -hmm. literally behold Yahweh. We get to see Yahweh. We get yep. to dine and drink wine. Mm -hmm. Talk about mystical things. Yep. With Yahweh Shai. We was talking about yep. that today in the yep. car. Man. Yep. That's what we get to do. If all we gotta do is bear the indignation. Yep. Fight the good fight of faith. Man. There you go. Fight the good fight of faith. So we can uh go to uh Let's get that Acts 20 You said 14 and 22 Oh come, come Yeah we can get that real quick come. That's what it, 14 and 22 right? Yeah it was 14 22 come, I'll read it for you You can break it down Alright It says Acts 14 chap, uh, Acts chapter 14 and 22 mm -hmm. Confirming the souls Of the disciples And ex exhorting them I'll start at 21 Come And when they had preached The gospel to, the, to that city mm -hmm. And had taught many they returned again to uh, Lystra, if I'm saying that correctly, and to Iconium and Antioch, mm -hmm. confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Right, man. You know, and going to that exhortation, you know, we, we do these, we do videos, we, we go out to the houses and byways that we cover one another brother, you know, through exhortation. You know, it, it goes to that encouragement, motivating, you know, that's how you, to, to strive and continue in the faith, man. All right, that's what that's what uh, these actions were done, you know, with the disciples as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, and we, that's a lucky, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Right, the brother just mentioned Jacob's trouble. You know, it's gonna be much. You're gonna be going through much tribulation, man. All right, to enter into that kingdom of, of the Most High, man. All right, you're gonna be going through the th things, whatever you come up with your head, man. Times and times a hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how that's how bad that day is going to be. Different judgments are going to be going around. It's not going to be one plague. It's, man, he's going to hit them all at once. Mm -hmm. You know, it's much. We got to go through this, do much tribulation to enter into the kingdom. 
That's how we're gonna be confirmed. That's how he's gonna testify and justify others. Cause he Yahweh Shah is that mediator. He was like, oh, okay, he yeah, he good. You know? He he fought, he fought, he fought the good fight as a soldier would, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta truly you gotta truly be in that uh austere mindset. You know, and see, have that. We gonna have a tunnel vision that day. We talking about it in the car too. Yep. We have tunnel vision, man. <laughs> we like, man, we going through this hell right now. But hey, the kingdom is next, man. Yep. You know that's next. We gonna be all right, man. That's right. We gonna be all right. You're right. <laughs> you know, For real. But real talk, we gonna be all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we uh, let's get Ecclesiasticus, and then we're gonna get an account. Word. And then close it out. And we're gonna get mm -hmm. a word as well. It says, uh, this is Ecclesiasticus, I'm going to let you break this down too. Okay. Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 2, verse 4, it says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, mm -hmm. take cheerfully. Right, take cheerfully, because it, it's from, it's from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. He clearly wanted you, because we all got different lots, man. We all got different different, different situations. Everybody's going through something. Not the same thing, so no, you, it's good, it's, it's best. Don't, don't um, compare yourself to the next brother or, or the next situation. You know, hey, just do what you got to deal with in front of you and take it cheerfully. You, you know what it's for. You know why it's happening. That's why we able to take it cheerfully because we know what's going on. Like, hey, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. This is what the Lord wanted me to go through. I'm going to go through it. You know, reward is coming next. You know? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Because you're going you're gonna to be going, you're going to be in with time of mourning. Mm -hmm. You know, just be patient because it's not going to, it's not going to, you know, it's like when you're going through a workout with pain. It's only, it's only temporary. This, this situation, that, the fashion of the world is going to pass away. You mm -hmm. know, this thing is temporary right now. That's why, hey, just be patient. And then when you get changed to that lower state, because you're serving Yahweh by Shemiah Asha, the one true power, That's you know. Right. Hey, what does the scripture say? It's nothing to make a poor, the, to the Lord to make a poor man rich. <sighs> nothing, man. Uh, from a lower state mm -hmm. back to uh, back to on top, man. I'm gonna get right. that reminds me of a scripture mm. here in uh, Salakia, here in First Samuel, what the second chapter when uh, Hannah was speaking mm. or praying to the Lord, and this is a classic one. So it says, uh, First Samuel mm. two and six, the Lord killed him, make it alive. He bringeth down to the grave, and he bringeth up. Here's, here's one of the points I want to make. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. That's what we focus on right, right now. Verse 7. If you bear your indignation, as we know in Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, it says, folly is set and high in and and dignity, meaning it's put upon a pedestal. Right. All right. And the rich sit in low places. The rich meaning a knowledge because the scriptures talk about the riches of the most high. Right. And that's what we have acquired. Mm -hmm. All right, we're rich in knowledge. The apostles and elders, yep. starting from Apostle Tahara on down, they're rich in knowledge, but we sit in low places, man. Yep. Rich we in faith, rich in faith as well. James two and five. Yep, right. perfect. Come. Rich in faith. You see, but we're not important delegates, mm -hmm. presidents, you know, senators and governors and in different states and countries right now. Some of us still live in the hood. Living in shacks. Well, not, not going to say shacks, but, <laughs> but probably got a room with one another. And just, yeah. man, got to live with our ribs and shit. Like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit, annoying as hell. We poor. Mm -hmm. All right? But the Lord's about to make us rich due to the fact that we can bear the indignation and mm -hmm. roll with them punches. Okay? Yeah. And roll with them punches. So we read Ecclesiasticus uh, 2 and 4, and it says to take. Here's the word taken, the etymology, mm. 1650s. It says that which is taken. Simple as that. Take what comes to you. <laughs> take it. Yeah. All right? It says a uh, money taken in by a single performance. Just keep going. That's about it. Mm. Money acquired by death is off. So the cheating the, No man This This <laughs> Fucking hate Esau yeah. bro Let's go to the verb It says To take and seize mm -hmm. These These things These indignations That we go through You're supposed to Thank the Lord in this mm -hmm. Hey what did Peter do When he went to jail And got beat mm -hmm. He thanked the Lord After it He took and seized That opportunity To go through affliction For Yahweh By Shemiah Yep. Same thing we gotta do Come on. All and, right, and it's gonna be worth it too, cause you when you mm -hmm. hear athletes, uh, any professional athletes, man, they be like, man, what was your best championship? You have so many, you have multiple. They be like, the best one was the hardest one. 
you know, hey, this is going to be worth it because we're going to be champions, man. They let the already predestined champions, you know. Yep. We just got to go through it, man. You got to fight, you know, and remain humble at that lower state. That's right. The scriptures say in Revelation, the second chapter, I think verse uh, 17, that it starts, speaks about the ones who overcome, meaning mm -hmm. it's already written who's going to win. All right. But we have to fulfill the script. We just the actors that the Lord put on earth. Yep. You see? So we done with those. We done with that one. We done with mm -hmm. this one. And we done with this one. We bring it to the last. That now we got an account <laughs> of a of a guy. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. This account you can, you can laugh at it sometimes because mm -hmm. he's just kicking against the pricks to the max. Yep. But at the end of the day, had a roll with the Lord made him roll with the punches. Yep. So uh, I got it right. Okay, calm, bro. You go ahead. Uh, Jonah chapter one verse one. Mm -hmm. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, saying. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. Mm -hmm. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish, 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 from the presence of the Lord Yahweh, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. <laughs> so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it <laughs> to go with them into Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He's like, man, nah, man, nah, mm -mm, nope. Yeah. No, I do not want to do this. No, I'm dipping. I'm mm -hmm. leaving. Okay. What makes your little puny ass think? You, the, the earth is the Lord's footstool. What makes you think he can't find you? Yeah. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's why it says the heart is deceitful above all things, man. Your mind have you thinking, no, nah, bro, nah, it, it don't go like that. Man. Yep. There was, uh, Proverbs 16 talks about what? Uh, the ways of a man, he may mm -hmm. think, it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the, war, the Lord way of, you know... Pretty much the balance, okay? Yep. Just par loosely paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 4. But the Lord Yahweh sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, mm -hmm. so that the ship was like to be broken. Yeah, it was about to, he was about to F that ship up, man. Mm -hmm. This was the Lord sending them punches. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Keep mm -hmm. going. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his unto his God mm -hmm. and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into mm -hmm. the sea mm -hmm. to lighten it of them. Mm -hmm. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep. Knocked out, man. Chilling. Thinking he was probably good, getting scot-free. I ain't going to Nineveh. I am not about to do that preaching, man. Now, I was talking to the brother. It says, yeah. it, through this mist, this this heavy tempest that you read about in verse mm -hmm. 4, Jonah was asleep. Yeah. What was Yahweh Shai doing when he was going through his, that great tempest? Knocked out. All right? Mm -hmm. At least trying to. Right. So verse 6. Go ahead. Verse 6. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Mm -hmm. Arise, call upon thy power. Mm -hmm. If so be that God would think upon us. That we perish not. See, everybody was calling on their powers and that shit was happening. <laughs> but he was fast asleep. So I was like, hold on, he ain't called on his power yet. Bro, call on yours. Mm -hmm. All right? So that your power may see it fit that we all don't die up in this thing. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 7. And they said, everyone to his fellow, come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. <laughs> so they cast lots, and that and the lot fell upon Jonah. It fell on Jonah, man. <laughs> the spirit was totally against Jonah. Like, bro, you about to go to Nineveh, and you about to do this bidding. You about to roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 8. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thine occupation? <laughs> Like, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. What do you do? And the thing about it, what he was going, he his occupation was being a prophet. Yep. That was Jonah's job. Yep. You ain't running from it. Mm -hmm. Can't get on no ship. You can't get on no plane. Can't get in no car. I'm speaking about now. Can't go horseback riding. Mm -hmm. Can't run. If you are called, you are going to do this work. Con, that's why the scripture also saying First Corinthians chapter 9, Woe is me that I preach not the gospel. There you go. You know, you can't run from this work, man. Just get, just get to it. Roll Especially if you know what to do. 
That's right. Go ahead, bro. It says, and when is thou come, Slaki? What is thy occupation? And whence comest thou? What is thy country? <laughs> and of what people art thou? They was interrogating the <laughs> hell out of you. Like, well, who are you, man? Yeah. Where the fuck you come yeah. from? Right. Why is this happening to us? Because of you. It's yeah. you. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Go ahead. And he said unto <laughs> them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shah, the Most High of Heaven, which have made the sea and the dry land. Jonah believed, man. Jonah believed. Go ahead. Verse 10. Then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord Yahweh because he had told them. See? The men knew. Like, bro, why the hell would you run from the omnipotent power? Even these people knew because all throughout the scriptures, especially when you're reading the Joshua and stuff like that, these people knew that this was the power that brought the Israelites out of Egypt. You know, these, this was the power that did all these wondrous works, all right, uh, with King David and Saul and all these things, okay? They knew that Israel had a heavy power on their side. So he's like, why would, why in the hell, what are you doing? You about to kill us. You about to kill us all because you want to run from the Lord, Yahweh. Go ahead. Then said they unto him, what shall we... It's like it. What shall we do unto thee that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. Uh, tem tem yeah. Tem tempest. Tempestuous. Yeah. Calm. That was a kind of tongue twister. Go ahead. Calm. Verse 12. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Yep. So it says, Take the, the, Jonah. Was starting to realize and mm -hmm. started to roll with the punches. Yep. He says, and he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. All right. So Jonah was like, Man, I ain't escaping this, man. Just throw me off the boat. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Nevertheless, the men rolled hard to bring it to the dry land, but they could not, for the sea wrought and was temp tempestuous. I think that's uh, tempestuous. Tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord Yahweh and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord Yahweh, has thou like it, has done as it pleased thee. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea seeds from her raging. See? Yeah. And the sea seeds from her raging. Keep going. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly mm. and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. See? Now keep going. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. He had a roll with the punches. <laughs> and when you read the next, uh, what, two chapters? Was it three yeah. chapters? Long? Four yeah. chapters long? Yes, yeah, four chapters on him. Well, when you read the next two chapters, Jonah started rolling with the punches. He went prophesying. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. He laid up his little thing. About to watch Nineveh fall, but the Lord repented on it. He got mm -hmm. mad. Yo, he got frustrated. Hey, but uh, hey, look, man, the Lord needs you to do that task. Because mm -hmm. yet he prophesied it ended up happening in the book of Tobit. Word. But this shows you that you can't kick against the pricks. Word. All right? Mm -hmm. You have to bear the indignation of the Lord, or he's going to put you through some shit and mm -hmm. make you bear it. Word. Just like Jonah did right here, man. Mm -hmm. So you have any closing remarks? Um, it's, it's like it's like when brothers speak about the truth, you know, coming into the truth. They're like, man, he put me to some shit. Maybe realize, you know, cause, hey, cause you may you gotta be put in that lower state to see, to know what's real, man. Mm -hmm. To know what's really meaningful in life, and that's just what, that count of Jonah was just beautiful. That's right. Know? That's right. Hey, mm -hmm. this count we can all apply to because yeah. what we were some knuckleheads before we got the truth, and the Lord had a. Slap us on the back of the head yeah. to get straight. And now we rolling with the punches and the corrections that he gives us. And I'm gonna get one more scriptures because mm -hmm. I said that mm -hmm. it says the the correct uh, the corrections that he gives us. So let's go to the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, and start at verse. Oop, start at verse one. Mm -hmm. It's Habakkuk two and one. It says, "I will stand upon my watch and set 
me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. The word reproved means to be corrected. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting to see on what the how the Lord's going to correct us and how we should uh, further go in to the next situation or whatnot. Mm -hmm. All right, that's rolling with the punches. All right, Habakkuk right here in two and one was rolling with the punches when he said, "I'll wait and watch to see what he should say unto me." Okay, mm -hmm. so roll with the punches. Okay, whatever comes to you, take cheerfully. Just just go with it. All right, and thank the Lord for going through it and Him sending that to you, because it's according to the Book of Hebrews, what twelve? We should have got that. He chastened the one he, that he that he loves and considers a son. Mm -hmm. So thank the Lord for going through your tribulations, even your tribulations, also your good times that He gives you as well. Mm -hmm. So. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm the brother Kasha Kuala. Brother Shamak. We're from the GMS Atlanta Church here in Georgia. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.